Hey guys, Julie here and you're watching The Life Chaser. Welcome to my first ever video for 2021 and I'm super excited to share this video with you guys because this is something that's very special and very personal to me and yeah, as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be doing my official bookshelf tour slash book collection video. I say official because last year I actually did a mini bookshelf tour pero insert ko lang siya dun sa Percy Jackson reading vlog ko I'm gonna insert a card right here and I'm also going to leave a link down below if you guys want to check that out but yeah it was just a mini bookshelf tour and I haven't really gone into details and ever since that video may mga nabago na sa bookshelf ko may mga nabago na sa arrangement and all that which I will be talking about later Alam nyo guys, sa totoo lang, I have been wanting to do this video for the longest time now but I have been putting it off because I know it's gonna take forever to film. But I also know that it's going to be worth it and as I've mentioned earlier, this is super special to me and every single book that I have is really special to me and I'm sharing them with you so I do hope that you'll enjoy this video. And yeah, without further ado guys, let's just hop right into it. First of all, before I show you guys all the books that I have, I just want to quickly talk about my bookshelf and it is this beautiful bookshelf right behind me. This is super special to me because this was actually built by my dad. So two years ago when my husband and I decided to move into this house, I knew I really needed a proper bookshelf kasi dun sa old place namin, as in wala talaga akong proper bookshelf, yung pinaglalagyan ko lang is ano lang siya, parang plastic shelf lang siya. And super liit lang niya. Siguro mga one-fourth lang ng size nito. So, when we started constructing and renovating this house, I knew I needed a proper bookshelf. And thankfully, my dad is the best carpenter that I know. Kasi that used to be his work nung single pa siya sa Baguio. He used to work at a furniture shop. So, talagang marunong siyang gumawa ng mga cabinets, bookshelves. Naalala ko pa dati nung mga bata pa kami. He actually made a sala set for our house. Ayun, whenever I need some type of shelf or a table, yung papa ko ang gumagawa. So, ito, itong bookshelf na to, ako lang yung nag-design, dinrowing ko lang siya. And wala naman akong inspiration or preference whatsoever. Binase ko lang siya dun sa mga books na meron ako and how I want to organize my books. So, the way that I organize my books is I just organize them by genre kasi feeling ko that's the easiest way for me to find what I'm looking for. So, magkakasama yung mga books with the same genre and in each section, magkakasama din yung mga books written by the same author. To give you a general idea on how I organize my books, so right at the very top, I have my classic and Philippine literature books followed by my inspirational and motivational books and then sa likod I just have some old books na wala na akong mapaglagyan and then right in this corner I have my adult fiction and historical fiction books. In this section I have my Harry Potter, Rick Riordan books and mythology books followed by my contemporary books and then right at the very bottom I have my fantasy books. I'm gonna start off with my classic books. So here I have all of my Collins classics. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Selected Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. The Case Book of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. Grimm's Fairy Tales by Brothers Grimm. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Laroux. I'm not sure guys kung tama yung pronunciation ko. But yun yun. And lastly, I have The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Next, I have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. I have another copy of The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne and I got this from the Big Bad Wolf book sale. And I believe this is the Rhodes Classics edition. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, 1984 by George Orwell, A Christmas Carol and Other Christmas Books by Charles Dickens. Another one that I got from the Big Bad Wolf book sale is this manga edition of The Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And sobrang cool ng book nito guys kasi may mga ano siya, may mga illustration siya sa loob. Like that. 
really nice. And lastly, for my classics, I have three different editions of Alice in Wonderland. I have the Reimagined Classics Edition. This is actually a graphic book illustrated by Andrea Di Aquino. Yan siya sa loob. May mga illustrations siya. Really nice and I super love these frayed edges as well. Next, I have the Wordsworth edition of Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Lastly, I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Tales. So, ayan yung mga ibang stories na nandito. And this was illustrated by John Tenniel and published by Chartwell Books. Moving on to Philippine literature, I have all of my Bob Ong books here. And wala lang, sobrang favorite ko tong basahin noon kasi ang bilis lang niyang matapos and sobrang fan ako ng humor ni Bob Ong. So, I have MacArthur, Lumayo ka nga sa akin, Aba nakakabasa na pala ako, Ang paboritong libro ni Judas, Stainless Longganisa, Bakit baliktad magbasa ng libro ang mga Pilipino? This is actually one of my favorites and wala lang, sobrang humorous lang ng libro na to. And lastly, for Bob Ong, I have Kapitan Sino. I also have para kay B. O kung paano dinevastate ng pag-ibig ang 4 out of 5 sa atin. Written by Ricky Lee. And lastly, for my Philippine literature books, I have Stupid is Forever by the late Miriam Defensor Santiago. Moving on to the next category, I have some of our inspirational and motivational books. Most of the books here are actually my husband's. Pero nilagay ko na lang sila dito sa bookshelf ko. Because why not? But first, we have the 60 Second Innovator, 60 Solid Techniques for Creative and Profitable Ideas at Work by Jeff Davidson. And we also have the 60 Second Organizer, 60 Solid Techniques for Beating Chaos at Work, again by Jeff Davidson. Bible Promises for Supernatural Living by Alice Chapon. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Walking in the Confidence of God in Troubled Times by Dr. Creflo A. Dollar. Footprints for Men, Scripture with Reflections for Men inspired by the poem Footprints by Margaret Fishback Powers. Another Chance at Life by Warren W. That one. Hindi ko siya kaya pronounce, but yan siya, si Warren. Next, we have The Renewed Mind by Larry Christensen. All Things Are Possible Through Prayer by Charles L. Allen. Unlocking the Heavens, Release the Supernatural Power of Your Worship by Shane Warren. How to Pray by Maurice Cerullo. And lastly, we have Glory Days by Max Lucado. This is actually from the Big Bad Wolf book sale. And then we just have some Bible that we use when we pray together at night. This is the Good News Bible and sobrang old na ng Bible na to, as you can see. And this one, you won't be able to see it clearly, but this is another Good News Bible, the Today's English Version. And then, on that same shelf, I just have some random old books na wala na akong ibang mapaglagyan. These are actually some of the first few books that I bought when I first started uh, building my book collection. So, I have Message in a Bottle by Nicholas Sparks. I used to read a lot of Nicholas Sparks before, but now not so much anymore. Love Rosie by Cecilia Ahern. The Carrie Diaries and Summer and the City by Candace Bushnell. And this is, of course, the prequel to the Sex and the City. I have the host by Stephanie Meyer. Sobrang tagal na nito sa akin guys. Pero hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin siya matapos-tapos basahin. Mistress of All Evil by Serena Valentino. I have a paperback copy of The Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oaks. And I actually also have the uh, hardback copy of this one. I will explain to you later kung bakit dalawa yung copy ko ng Queen of Hearts. But that's that. Moving on to one of my favorite sections in my bookshelf, I have my historical fiction books and adult fiction books. First, I have The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami, and this is actually the first Haruki Murakami book that I've ever read, and I fell in love with it. More Haruki Murakami books I have After Dark and Colorless Tsukuru Tazaki and His Years of Pilgrimage. Next, I have The Crazy Rich Asians, China Rich Girlfriend, and Rich People Problems, all by Kevin Kwan. And I super, super enjoyed reading this trilogy and sobrang excited na akong mapanood yung second movie, which is, of course, The China Rich Girlfriend. The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Condera, Salmon Fishing in the Yemen by Paul Day. 
A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. This book is based on the assassination of Bob Marley. Hindi ko pa nababasa tong libro na to, but I'm planning to read it this year. And this book is actually multi-awarded. It is the winner of the Man Booker Prize. Winner of the American Book Award, winner of the Anisfield Wolf Book Award for Fiction, winner of the Minnesota Book Award, winner of the OCM One Caribbean Media Bookas Prize for Fiction, and finalist for the National Book Critics Circle Award for Fiction. The Blind Man's Garden by Nadim Aslam. This is shortlisted for the DSC Prize for South Asian Literature. The Life of Pity Barnum by Pity Barnum himself, aka the greatest showman. Next, I have some Holocaust-themed books, and these are actually some of my favorite books to read. First one that I have here is Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris, The Book Thief by Marco Zusak, definitely one of the best books that I've ever read. If you're looking for a book that is inspired by the events that happened during the Holocaust or the Nazi occupation, I would highly recommend this book. And finally, for this set of books, I have Number the Stars by Lois Lowry. More historical fiction books, I have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dower. And this is a winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Ashes in the Snow by Ruta Sepetis. The Refugees by Viet Than Nguyen. And The Sympathizer by Viet Than Nguyen. This is again another winner of the Pulitzer Prize. And of course, one of my favorite books of all time, I have Life of Pi by Jan Martel. Again, it's one of my favorite books. I always go back to this whenever I need some inspiration. I'm pretty sure you guys are already familiar with this book. And yeah, it's such an amazing book about faith, bravery, survival. I highly, highly recommend that you read this book if you haven't already. So yeah, again, this is Life of Pi by Jan Martel. And this is a winner of the Man Booker Prize. Finally done with my top shelf and now let's proceed to the next section which is my Harry Potter and my Rick Riordan section also known as my middle grade shelf. And as you can see, I have all of my Harry Potter books right here. Dati itong section na to, puro Harry Potter lang. But as you can see, I don't really have that many Harry Potter books. And sobrang nasayangan ako sa space kasi may mga ibang books ako na hindi ko na malagay sa bookshelf ko. So what I did now is I merged the Harry Potter and my Rick Riordan books along with some other mythology inspired Book. Starting off with this section, I only have two decorative items. This one, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this. This is just one of those souvenirs that you can get from Baguio City. Next, I just have this dried flowers na nakuha ko lang to siya sa isang PR kit. And I just thought it was really pretty. So, nilagay ko siya dito sa parang vial or bottle. I'm not gonna go too much into details anymore guys because alam ko naman na familiar na kayo sa Harry Potter. But here I have the Wizarding World Movie Magic Encyclopedia. I have Volume 1, Extraordinary People and Fascinating Places. Volume 2, Curious Creatures. And Volume 3, Amazing Artifacts. Magical Film Projections. This one is Patronus Charm. And this one is Quidditch. The Lux Book and Model Set. This one is House Elves. And then I also have Quidditch featuring the Golden Snitch. Here we have the complete Harry Potter cinematic guide, The Tales of Beetle the Bard. These are the UK Bloomsbury edition of the Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Sobrang rare na nitong dalawang to because these are actually first edition copies and you can't really find them anywhere anymore. Next, of course, I have the entire Harry Potter book series and these are the US Scholastic Edition. I'm pretty sure you guys are already familiar with how they look like but this one is the Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, oh, The Feels, and lastly, Deathly Hallows. I also have the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child which is often referred to as the 8th book in the series which I can't really get on board with because honestly I'm not a big fan of this book. I didn't really like it. Moving on to this section, I have this little guy right here and actually binili ko lang to as props nung DBS Safari Christmas party namin 2 years ago I think, 2 or 3 years ago. But yeah, nilagay ko na lang siya dyan kasi mukha naman siyang yung lion sa emblem ng Gryffindor. 
And then I have this Harry Potter Winter at Hogwarts coloring set. And wala lang. I just got this kasi naka-sale siya. And would you believe I only got this for 100 pesos. Inside, we have the Hogwarts crest. And then we have a 3D model ng broom. I think this is the Firebolt if I'm not mistaken. Then we have some thread or yarn right here. This is just a leaflet on how to assemble the Firebolt. Ayan. Then we have some gift tags na wala naman akong balak gamitin because I just want to keep them as part of my collection. And then we have a mini coloring book featuring Winter at Hogwarts. And lastly for my Harry Potter stuff, medyo nag-glare siya guys because of my ring light so I apologize for that. But this is just a replica of the Hogwarts acceptance letter which I got from the Wizarding World Movie Magic Amazing Artifacts yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So, kinuha ko siya and then finrame ko lang siya. So, that's that. So, that is it for my Harry Potter stuff. And now, let's proceed naman to this section right here. And I totally lied. Man pa pala akong isang Harry Potter na item here. This is just a Harry Potter mug na nilagyan ko lang ng kung ano-ano. And, ayan, sa likod meron siyang Marauder's Map. I have my JBL Bluetooth speaker here kasi sometimes pag nandito ako sa living room, I just want to listen to music while reading a book. As I've mentioned earlier, nilagay ko na rin dito yung mga required on books ko as well as some of my mythology-inspired books. So, first one, I have the mythology Timeless Tales of Gods and Heroes by Edith Hamilton. Demigods and Magicians, Percy and Annabeth Meet the Canes. Then I have the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. We have The Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters, Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, Last Olympian, all by Rick Riordan. I have Cersei by Madeline Miller. Hotel Valhalla Guide to the Norse Worlds by Rick Riordan. This is a companion book to the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series, which is here. So I have Sword of Summer, The Hammer of Thor, and The Ship of the Dead. Norse mythology book by Neil Gaiman. And lastly for this shelf, I have the Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes by Rick Riordan. This one, of course, I got from The Big Bad Wolf. Moving on to another one of my favorites. This is of course my contemporary shelf. But I have to admit, may mga books ako nilagay dito na not necessarily contemporary books. Nilagay ko lang sila dyan kasi wala na akong ibang mapaglagyan sa kanila. But for the most part, I have all of my contemporary books here. I love reading contemporary books especially if I want to get some reading done but I don't want to read something heavy. Pag gusto ko chill lang, like for example Saturday afternoon and I want to read something lighthearted, I go for my contemporary books. Anyway, moving on, the first one that I have here is Why We Broke Up, novel by Daniel Handler and art by Maria Kalman. The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. This book is based on the classic novella A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And I got this from the National Bookstore Book Binge Bazaar. I also have a haul for this one, which again, I'm gonna leave a link down below if you want to check that out. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. A Whole New World, A Twisted Tale by Liz Broswell. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I See London, I See France by Sarah Malinowski. Next, I have all of my John Green books. We have The Fault in Our Stars, Turtles All the Way Down, Looking for Alaska, Paper Towns, and An Abundance of Catherines, all written by John Green. War Cross by Marie Lou, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, one of my absolute favorite contemporary books of all time. A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi. I absolutely love this book. The story is set in 2002, New York, a year after the 9-11 bombing, and this follows the story of a girl who is a transferee and there she suffers bullying and racial discrimination and in order to fight off her depression she does break dancing with her brother next i have witchwood this is also written by tahara mafi next i have some books written by morgan matson this is actually an exclusive cover for the philippines because it has a special letter from morgan matson herself so, ayan, nakalagay, hello, friends in the Philippines. 
So this is Save the Date, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, The Unexpected Everything, and Second Chance Summer, again all written by Morgan Matson. Photo of me and my husband when we went to Baguio last year with my family. Next, I have the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series. So we have To All the Boys I've Loved Before, P.S. I Love You, and Always and Forever, Lara Jean, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabosky. The God of All Things by Arundhati Roy. This is supposed to be up there with my adult fiction books, but ayan, naligaw siya dito. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Obviously, this is a classic book and wala lang. Naligaw lang din siya dito. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Ready Player One and Armada, both written by Ernest Klein. Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey... Niffenegger? Again, I'm not sure guys, but yan yan. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alire Sanz. Wonder by RJ Palacio. 13 Reasons Why by J. Asher. Love and Other Perishable Items by Laura Buzo. As Old as Time, A Twisted Tale by Liz Broswell. Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. And this is actually a companion book to the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, which I unfortunately do not have. Another one na naligaw dito sa aking contemporary shelf. This is The Little Prince by Antoine de saint Exupery. And lastly for this shelf, I have Late 2006. This is actually the official publication of the College of Nursing in Ateneo de Davao University where I took up nursing and... Wala lang, nilagay ko lang siya dito kasi meron akong short story na sinulat dito which I'm not gonna show you guys because it's super cringe fest, nahiya ako but ayan, tinago ko lang siya as a souvenir. And we are down to the last section of my bookshelf which is my fantasy shelf although may mga ibang fantasy books pa ako na nilagay ko sa ibang shelf which I am going to show you later but here we have Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo and this is another cheap find. Nabili ko siya sa National Bookstore for only 50 pesos. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. I actually talked about this book in my Book Binge Bazaar haul video. So again, the link is down below if you want to check that out. Next, of course, I have one of my all-time favorite fantasy series. This is, of course, the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. And the final installation in this series recently came out, yung Desolation of Devil's Acre. I'm not sure if it is already available here in the Philippines, but I am planning to get it once it is available. But here we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the first book, Hollow City, Library of Souls, definitely my favorite in this series. A Map of Days, The Conference of the Birds, and I also have the companion book which is The Tales of the Peculiar. By the way guys, I totally forgot to mention the author of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar children series is Ransom Riggs who is actually the husband of Tahara Mafi, the author of A Very Large Expanse of Sea. Wala lang, sobrang nakukita na ko sa kanilang dalawa and they have a super cute daughter. I actually follow them on Instagram because wala lang, I'm just a big fan. Up next, I have this box set of The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. And again guys, this one I got on sale sa National Bookstore again. I think I only got this for 650 pesos. The original price is 1,600 something. We have The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. Next, I have another box set right here and this is the Six of Crows duology. Nakasil pa siya but this one has the Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Hindi ko pa siya binabasa kasi I believe this is a sequel to the Grishaverse trilogy. Unfortunately, I still do not have that series in my collection so dyan lang muna sila. The Dark Vault by Victoria Schwab. I have this really beautiful book set of the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare and I actually got this sa Big Bad Wolf book sale. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and lastly we have City of Heavenly Fire. I have the Hunger Games trilogy right here with the original book covers. So we have the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Sobrang madumi na sila guys kasi sobrang tagal na nito sa akin. I have Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I don't have the rest of the books in the series because I am no longer a fan of the series. Siguro before fan ako but now not anymore. Fifth Wave series. 
So we have the fifth wave, the infinite sea, and the last star. Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. Langle? Not sure. Again, another dystopian series, and this is the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. I'm not sure, guys, if you are still familiar with this one, but there was a time before, siguro mga around 2010, 2011, sobrang nauso yung mga dystopian novels. Dun unang numabas yung Hunger Games, and then yung Divergent, and then a lot of other dystopian novels, and kasabay nila to tong Delirium series but ito hindi siya masyadong nag-click but this one is Delirium, Pandemonium and lastly we have Requiem Next, we have The Wrath and the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adie. This one is actually an autographed copy. I got this uh, National Bookstore Book Binge Bazaar and there is the signature right there. The Wish Granter by CJ Redwine and The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. So those are all the books that I have in my main bookshelf but I also still have some books in this actually plant rack to guys but hindi na namin siya nilalagyan ng plants kasi namamatay yung mga plants pag nilalagay namin dyan kasi hindi siya masyado naaarawan and then wala siyang masyadong humidity so yung mga plants na nandito nilabas na lang namin siya and then I just decided to put some books right here para hindi naman siya empty. So these are some of the fantasy books that I was telling you about na hindi nakasya doon sa kabilang shelf. But here I have the Queen of Hearts trilogy. So I have Queen of Hearts, Blood of Wonderland, War of the Cards. So I mentioned earlier that I already have a paperback copy of the Queen of Hearts. Ito, yun, ito naman yung hardback copy. So the reason why I have two copies is because Itong si Blood of Wonderland and War of the Cards plus the paperback copy. I got them sa National Bookstore Book Binge Bazaar. Supposed to be hardback copy din yung bibilihin ko that time nung Queen of Hearts but I couldn't really find it and yung available lang is yung paperback. And then a few months after sa Big Bad Wolf book sale, nakita ko naman itong si Queen of Hearts na hardback. So, binili ko na lang din siya para pare-pareho silang tatlo and maganda silang tingnan pag nilagay sa bookshelf. And then, I also have Shadow Girl by Liana Lu, the Monsters of Verity series by Victoria Schwab, This Savage Song, and Our Dark Duet. And then, here I have some coffee table books. Most of these I got from Big Bad Wolf book sale except for this one which I got from the National Bookstore Book Binge Bazaar and this one I got from Fully Book. We have The Innovators by Walter Isaacson, a Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. Star Wars Made Easy Journey to Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is a graphic book of the Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Of course, I had to get the Avengers Vault from the Big Bad Wolf book sale. And lastly, I have Greek Myths Illustrated by Milo Winter and others. Dapat pala dun ko rin siya nilagay sa taas. Kasama nung mga Percy Jackson na books but hindi na siya kasha. And last but not the least guys, ito na talaga yung pinakalas na shelf ko. I just have some of my Paolo Coelho books right here also some Mitch album and Nicholas Sparks books and then I have here some plaques this is my husband's and that's my plaque right there when I won best beauty blog in 2013 and then just random knickknacks right here so here I have Veronica decides to die the alchemist Brida 11 minutes the winner stands alone and this entire set I got from the big bad wolf book sale I have a mass paperback version of Brida and the devil in miss prim all written by Paolo Coelho I have the notebook and dear John by Nicholas Sparks. And lastly, I have The Five People You Meet in Heaven and Tuesdays with Mori, both written by Mitch Album. And that concludes my bookshelf tour 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did filming it even though it took me forever to finish. But as I have said earlier, this is really something special to me and I enjoyed sharing each of the books that I have with you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell button so that you'll get notified whenever I have a new video. And yeah, that is it for today guys. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!